So behind me I have a 1995 military Humvee and I'm replacing the glow plugs in the engine but I think I got a bad set of glow plugs. I'm trying to troubleshoot the engine because it's not starting. It'll just turn over and over and over and over. Anyway, one of the solutions that I've heard of is adding a supplemental or accessory grounding harness that attaches from the engine to the starter and a few other places inside the engine bay to uh, help the electrical system run smoothly. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do right now is install that because it's super cheap and if it solves a problem, it solves a problem. And I'll show you how I do it. I think we should see how it goes. Let's get started. So this is the harness itself. I've got it from Cascar. Um, this is a little diagram of where all of the uh, extensions go. And so this is the main one that goes onto the engine itself. And then each of these little arms are labeled. We can see a B on that one. And so that goes to the alternator. We have the body ground, protective control box, and the starter ground. So inside the motor, I'm just gonna take this off right here. And we can see some other grounding cables also going from this same bolt. And basically this just makes the whole grounding system work better and uniformly. And because a lot of times there is rust on these bolts, which makes the grounding connections bad. So adding the extra harness in there should make everything work better. All right, got it in. And I'm just going to leave the bolt loose for right now because I honestly don't know how these are all going to route throughout the engine. Um, so I will tighten everything up when I am done. So next I'm going to the control box, which means we have cord number C. And by number C, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the control box is up underneath here, but the grounding screws are right here. So I'm going to use that screw and then pull it through the engine compartment here. Then the one long cable I'm going to get ready to drop down for the starter motor. Took out that bolt right there, and I'm going to just kind of clean it off a little bit. Get a better connection, no dust or dirt or anything underneath the bolt. Then we have the alternator, which is going to be the B, number B, and then there's two cables, the red one and the black one. We're gonna to go to the ground on the black, and it is a half inch socket. Now that is attached and going back to our previous connection and then we have that one also attached here and then the last one this little dangly guy is going right up inside of there where there's some other grounding wires attached to the frame I think underneath this silver thing. Okay that one was tough because that plastic thing kept getting in the way but I did get some sandpaper up in there and kind of clean off the connection and our new wire is now connected with the other ground on the frame. Now that I have those three connected, I can drop the long one down that hole for the starter motor. So down here, um, obviously we have the passenger tire and then we have the starter motor. We can see the positive is the red one right here and then the negative is the black. But the army, or whoever had this, um, put a bunch of silicone junk all over it. So I'm going to have to razor that off and then add my supplemental grounding harness while making sure that it stays away from anything hot like these uh, um, exhaust pipes. And I cleaned it up a little bit, made sure it was metal on metal for all the large connection, the supplemental grounding, and then this other cable that was attached to it as well. And then I will clean up my wires up top, and that should be good to go. And there you have it, the supplemental grounding harness is installed. I still have to wait for my second set of glow plugs, and I think I'm changing out my controller as well. But it's good to have all the electronics grounded and working correctly before I get those other components in. Anyway, thanks a ton for watching. Leave any questions or comments down in the comments below, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing running in a couple more days. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.